Hi, I'm Shane Gebauer with Brush Mountain Bee Farm. I'd like to take a minute of your time to talk about our 18 frame extractor. Obviously, this is a motorized extractor. It comes with a Baldor DC motor. We use a DC motor because it has more torque, which is necessary when this basket's fully loaded with frames of honey. The construction of the extractor is st food grade stainless steel. Any plastic components either in the basket or the honey gate are food approved plastics. When you're extracting, you should have your honey gate open. This allows for the honey to flow out of the frames and then out of the extractor. If you close that gate, the honey level can build up, pool in the bottom of the extractor until it starts to bind up with the extractor basket. And that can create unnecessary wear and tear on the basket as well as on the motor. When operating, you want to make sure that these clear covers are in fact closed. You don't want to risk something falling down into the extractor. And you certainly don't want to risk someone accidentally putting their hand in there and catching it on the spinning it basket because that could cause quite an injury. So make sure your covers are closed. It's also a good idea to anchor the extractor. It comes with three legs. At the bottom of each leg there's a hole. So you can bolt the extractor down to the floor. If you don't want to actually attach it to the floor itself, maybe bolt it to a sheet of plywood or an old pallet that you can stand on. That'll help stabilize this, the extractor because no matter how hard you try, it's going to be out of balance just a little bit and may have a tendency to sort of walk on you. To load the extractor, it will hold nine deep frames. The basket's divided into three compartments, so that's three frames a compartment. It does hold those nine frames radially, which means you want the top bar facing the outside of the extractor. That way as it spins, honey gets slung from both sides of the frame. There's no need to reverse the directions of the frame. So to load it, you just simply lower it down in, and there's little notches down in the bottom portion of the extractor that the end bar, the bottom end bar, locks into to hold it in its proper position. If you're using medium frames, it's the same process except of course it holds 18 medium frames or 18 shallow frames. And so the frame gets lowered down in, in a radial orientation, and again locks into those uh, notches down below. To operate the extractor, what you want to do, again, make sure your cover is closed, simply turn it on, and then gradually increase your speed. You want to start off slow so that the honey slowly gets slung from the frame because a full frame of honey is quite heavy and, can exert, and it can exert a lot of pressure on the foundation, on the comb of that frame. And if you start spinning it too quickly, you can actually blow the foundation out of the frame and you don't want to do that. So you want to start off slow and gradually increase your speed and let the honey slowly sling out. What we find typically is that once you get up to about 50%, the basket is spinning sufficiently fast that it will sling your frames dry. And you can see it's starting to wobble a little bit. I have my frames oriented on one side of the extractor, so of course it's out of balance. And as you can see as I speed it up, it's going to wobble a little bit more, emphasizing the importance of anchoring it to the floor. So I've got it up to close to 50% now. This is where I'd leave it for five or 10 minutes, depending on how much uh, uh, honey I wanted to sling from those frames, how dry I wanted to get them. And then I gradually slow it back down and turn it off. Wait for the basket to come to a complete stop before reaching in to unload those frames. You can lift your lid up, spin the basket around to unload them. That's the 18 frame extractor. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope you found it informative. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.